I mean, there's Islamists everywhere in the world. And if your idea of defeating Islamic totalitarianism, of defeating Islamism, of defeating Al-Qaeda, is to defeat every little group in every one of these countries that self-identifies in some way as Islamist, as jihadi, uh, it, defeating every single little group in every one of these countries, just with American forces, maybe with a little bit of help from, from the French in Mali, and maybe from the Egyptians in Egypt, if that's a strategy, then of course we're going to lose. You know, and, and we're going to fight. It's not just about losing. It's about fighting stupid wars and getting American kids killed for nothing. For nothing. These folk kids get killed for nothing. Why are we in Niger? To fight Islamism? But we know where Islamism originates. We know who funds all the Islamic causes. We know who gets them ultimately the weapons, who, who teaches them the ideology. We've known this forever. Instead of, you know, every time, you know, what do you call it, that, that game that, that, the, the, that the groundhog pops up and you uh, whack uh, whack all whack them all whack them all There you go, whack them all Thank you. So instead of playing whack-a-mole, which is what we're playing, with troops in 120 different countries whacking the different moles as they pop up out of the jungle or out of the desert or out of whatever, how about going to the source? How about going to the root? How about, you know, finding the, the, the origins of this and defeating and destroying and dismantling the origins, the source, where it starts? Look, They've always been Islamists. They've always been Muslims who take their religion really, really seriously and are willing to kill for it. But they have no power without the support of two countries. Two countries make all the difference. Two countries, Saudi Arabia and Iran. That's it. Nothing else is relevant. Niger is relevant. Mali is relevant. Libya is relevant. Who cares? These places. Have you ever been to Niger? I haven't, but I know what it looks like. It's desert. There's nothing there. It's completely desert. Nothing lives there. Nomads travel through it. Traders who trade, the, you know, between one oasis in the desert to another oasis in the desert. There is no, no real strategic value. To the United States. If you think they're smuggling terrorists into Europe through Niger, then let the Europeans deal with it. But there's no evidence of that. And the problem is much more likely to be Libya and Algeria. You can't have troops everywhere where Islamists pop up. Islamists are always going to pop up. What, you're going to kill all the Muslims in the world? You want to deal with this, you have to find its origins, its source. And the only place that how, where the origin is, is Saudi Arabia and Iran, two countries that are based on Sharia law, two countries dedicated to worldwide rule of Islam. The, the, the Saudis, based on the Wahhabis, and the, 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 uh, the Iranians, you know, based on their Shiite beliefs. But they're ruled by theocrats. Saudi Arabia is trying to modernize they actually let women drive now. Woo, whippy. But that's the enemy. They fund every radicalized mosque, every radicalized movement, every radicalized person is being funded by either the Saudis or the Iranians. It's no accident that 15 of the terrorists on 9-11 were Saudis. Now, the regime is trying to fight some of this terrorism because the regime finds it uncomfortable to have them. But they have a deal with the Wahhabis, who are the spiritual leaders of Saudi Arabia. And part of that deal is giving them free reign to continue to radicalize, continue to radicalize. Now, the only way to win this war is not to have troops in 120 different countries. It's to recognize the evil of Islamic totalitarianism, to recognize the evil of jihadism, to identify its origins, political origins, which is in Saudi Arabia and Iran, and to end it there. 
And, you know, let the Nigerians deal with their own. Let the Nigerians fight Boko Haram. Let the Libyans fight it out. Maybe they'll be so busy fighting each other, they won't have time to come after us. Stop worrying about every mole that pops his head out of the ground and start thinking strategically, strategically about the enemy that the United States faces. And strategically, it's not in Niger. It's all in the Middle East.